Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks, coming to you today from Almería. We're staying at a place called San Jose, which is on the coast here, Cabo de Gata. And uh, we're going to take a drive today through the infamous plastic sea, which you can see ahead of me. And the funny thing is that this is not even the biggest part of the plastic sea here in Almería. This is only a small part of it, but it is very, very impressive indeed to see all of these greenhouses. And as I said, this uh, plastic sea, as it's called here in Spain, the Mar de Plástico. In fact, there was even a series done about this Mar de Plástico a few years ago, uh, because it is something that catches people's attention. Everywhere you look, you see plastic. Now today's video is sponsored by NordVPN, but I'll tell you a little bit more about NordVPN during the video. Now we're coming through one of these towns which is sort of bordering this uh, area here. You can see different people here that work in the industry. A lot of people come from African countries, North African countries, Morocco for example, people from sub-Saharan African countries here as well attracted to the offer of employment that this area has. Lots of jobs available here. You can get an example of these greenhouses here on the right. We've got a town on the left, greenhouses on the right. So it's an interesting dynamic. And lots of people from Africa, as we can see, walking around the place, who, as I said, have been lured here by the appeal of jobs I imagine. Not sure what the salaries would be like. I've heard different stories. Some people saying that salaries are good, and other people saying that people are exploited here. So I don't really know. Different points of view according to who you speak to. And the reason this area has become a plastic sea is because of that thing that we can see up there, the sun. The sun shines most of the year here, and the temperatures are also quite good, winter temperatures. Today, the 5th of December, we're sitting at currently 16 degrees Celsius, and the expected high today is around 18. So for the 5th of December here in Europe, that is fairly good weather. Now we can see on the right different companies that have been set up, Biosol, to process the fruit and veg that's grown here and flowers as well. I also read somewhere that they grow a lot of flowers here. So lots of different things growing under these plastic roofs. Now apparently here in Spain there's about 70,000 hectares of these plastic greenhouses and 30,000 hectares here in Almeria. So a lot. And Spain is the second country in the world with the most amount of this type of greenhouse. Second only to China, I believe. And I think Korea, South Korea is third. So lots of fruit and veg coming out of this part of the world. People here walking from town to town, very, very dangerous. So what do they grow here? Well, they grow tomatoes, obviously. If you're in the north of Europe, most likely your tomatoes are coming from this part of Spain. Green peppers, red peppers, or capsicums as we call them in Australia. Eggplants, aubergines, I think they're called in the UK. And zucchinis, or courgettes. Now, as I said a few minutes ago, a lot of people from the north of Africa coming here. And you can see the living conditions that some people have. Here on the left, we have a shanty town that we're gonna go through at the moment and the conditions that people are living in here don't look very good. Plastic houses on the left there as we can see. Greenhouses on the right, plastic shanty town on the left. And you can see there I think a lot of people from Morocco living in that particular place. We'll have a look at that on the way back as well. And that's also one of the negative arguments that people put forward that the, the conditions for a lot of the workers here are not good. Again, two sides to the story. I read somewhere that they say that if you work for one of the big companies, one of those big uh, vegetable processing companies, 
salaries are not bad it's enough to buy it's enough to pay rent in a in one of the local cities around here the salary have a decent kind of life around a thousand euros a month which is not a bad salary for this part of the world but then we just saw a shanty town where people are living in bad conditions now I'll just interrupt the video here to talk about and thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you are not familiar with the VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network and it will protect your internet connection and privacy online. Having a VPN means that you can use the internet safely because your data is encrypted and your online identity protected because your IP address is hidden. So, if you connect to public Wi-Fi like I regularly do when I'm traveling around Spain, a VPN will come in very handy indeed. Another reason I use NordVPN is to watch content on sites that may be geo-blocked here in Spain. For example, Netflix USA, Netflix Australia, BBC iPlayer, and many more. Just connect to the server in the country where you want to access the content, and away you go. You can use NordVPN on up to six devices, so you can have it on your phone, your tablet, your desktop, or your laptop computer all at the same time, and it works on both Apple and Android devices. Now if you want to check out NordVPN for yourself, they currently have a holiday season deal. So click the link in the description box in the section below to get a two year plan plus one additional month free with a huge discount. So click the link below, take advantage of the special offer and start your safe internet experience with NordVPN. Now back to the video. Now we're coming through quite an attractive part of the, the landscape here as you can see. Desert like conditions. Almeria, of course, was famous back in the day for westerns. A lot of the spaghetti westerns of the 1960s were filmed here, I believe. I don't think in this particular area, but in the Almeria province. You can sort of see it's got that western vibe to it. All right, so I think here we're going to get a good view of what this plastic sea in this part of Almeria looks like. There we go. Wow. Bird's eye view. That's what we're going to go through. Now again, when it comes to the environment, there's two arguments. The big lobby group for this industry says that these plastic greenhouses are good for the environment because the plastic absorbs carbon dioxide. But the question of what happens to all of the plastic is worrying a lot of environmentalists. They say that 70% of the plastic here is recycled but what happens to the other 30%? That's the question. Amazing looking at this. As I said, this is only a small part of it because if you go to the plastic sea closer to Almeria City, near Roquetas del Mar, it's amazing. And it's something actually that you can see from space. I think NASA reported that they can see this phenomenon from space. And if you have a look at Google Maps, I'll put an image in the the video now you can see the extent of this plastic amazing to see and this is also a growing population because you've got all of the people coming in from other countries to work here and you've got local people as well setting up industries I think some 15,000 families have businesses here so it's a growing area in Spain and there's a town called El Ejido which was in the press for all the wrong reasons a few years ago because of racial tension. Apparently that's a place that has grown from 20 people 30 years ago to something like 2,000 now. Don't quote me on that figure, but a lot more people living there now than there was 30 years ago because of this industry. All right, now we're coming into the heart of the area now. There's a place here on the left that is recycling plastic some type of business that's been set up as a result. All you can see are mountains and mountains of dirty plastic there. And on the right you can see the type of greenhouse that we're talking about and there's lots of rubbish around as well where obviously people buy something to eat, plastic bag, chuck it on the ground. Even though as you can see there's a bin right here. So I think we're going to go straight ahead here. This road will take us to the highway that will go to Murcia. And Murcia is also one of the big agricultural regions here in Spain. 
In fact, they call Almeria and Murcia Spain's vegetable garden, and to some extent, as I said before, Europe's vegetable garden, because if you go to a supermarket in Germany, if you go to a supermarket in some of those northern European countries, the origin of the produce is most likely from here. And I think Germany is one of the biggest buyers of produce from this part of Spain. So plastic, plastic, all we can see is plastic. Now that place I mentioned a few minutes ago, El Ejido, problem with racial tension. The locals didn't want uh, North African migrants coming in, didn't want uh, African people coming to live there. And another fact is that the right-wing party Vox, which is basically an anti-immigration party, very strong in this part of the world and also very strong in Murcia. So two of the areas where Vox have a lot of popularity, Almeria and Murcia, because of the big immigrant population here. Now we can see the size of the, some of the industries here on the right. Bio Sabor looks like a huge business. Obviously taking advantage of the weather and all of the fruit and veg that is grown here. Now we're going to come down here on my way back to San Jose, which is on the coast. And the sun is going to be reflecting off this plastic sea, so we're going to get a, a really good view of it here. We saw what it was like before, but, but I think now with the plastic shining off the roofs there, there we go. Wow, look at this. Amazing. As far as the eye can see, basically. So, some of the main questions about this part of Spain. Is this a sustainable industry? Like the lobby says. Is this plastic recycled as much as they say it is? I don't know. But obviously these businesses are popping up more and more as the years go by because this industry continues to grow. We just saw there a racist slogan, Moros no, which basically says Moroccans no. So there is racial tension in this area as well. And that's also one of the problems that this industry causes. Because the locals, yeah, they want to set up their businesses and uh, they want people to work in them. But who wants to work in these businesses? The only people that seem to want to work in these businesses are people from other countries. So there could be some exploitation going on no doubt there is in some parts of this industry here. Racial tensions, as I mentioned. So you've got those three aspects. You've got the environment aspect. You've got the political aspect, the racial aspect. And also you've got the, the ethical question of whether these businesses are paying people what they should be paying them. Those are some of the questions that pop up from time to time. But when you're in Madrid, and when you're in another city here in Spain, and when you're in another country in Europe, and you want to eat fresh produce 12 months of the year, which is what we do nowadays, we've got tomatoes 12 months of the year, we've got capsicums 12 months of the year, we've got eggplants 12 months of the year. This is where it comes from. So that balance needs to be found. People want that produce 12 months of the year because if it doesn't come from here, it's gonna come from somewhere else. Morocco is a serious competitor. So if it's not grown here in Spain, it's gonna be grown somewhere else because as I said, people want that fresh produce 12 months of the year. We don't wanna go back to canned tomatoes, which was the case 30 years ago. So that is the debate here in the sea of plastic. The plastic sea, el mar de plástico. And as soon as you get through this plastic sea and you get to the coast, you get to the town of San Jose, it's completely different. We're coming through this shanty town again so you can get an idea of the living conditions of these people here. Rubbish everywhere. They've got a container but there's just too much rubbish. Absolutely terrible living conditions for the people living here.
El Pozo de los Frailes, as you can see here, the typical white village common in this part of Spain. And here we have San Jose, and as you can see, another white village which uh, sits nicely in the hills here on the coast of Almeria. We'll take a drive through the town, folk there reading the paper there. Sunday Press, quite a busy place, people crossing the road. Busy Sunday here in San Jose. Cats in no hurry. Three gals. So I'll start to wrap the video up. I'm nearly at our accommodation. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Tell us what you thought of the plastic sea here in Alamedia, whether you've been to this area, you've seen it for yourself, and what your thoughts on the matter are. Is it sustainable, or is it something that we have to put up with if we want to have, as I said before, that fresh fruit and veg 12 months of the year? That is the issue. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.